uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody... Get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's ri ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Hmm, nice bike.
Out of here. Actually, take me to the pole position. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I am? Looking for some mate. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. But he's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate? It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. Gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kind of different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Ah! Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that point oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no. No! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. I can't believe this is happening. Innocent until I say otherwise. Hey, Tommy, it's sunny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. 
What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. without saying Tommy Tommy any progress no 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 no. tell me later tell me later Tommy this is Avery Carrington I believe you met at the party not in person howdy Avery here has a proposition <clears throat> haven't we got other things on our mind I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door so could you please cut me some slack I'm stretched like a wire and even if I'm dead by the end of the week I'd like to think that I didn't die poor Now just okay? calm down both of you Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Uh, he's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. Uh, keep away from me, you cheap bastard. The front was then, turn you one, south, five point. And then, one, south, five She is very wet this home. time of the year. What? Ah, uh, come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Quiz imperialist American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's man at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Hold in all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy hey, Versetti. Let's go. This is not your street, man. Look where you walk. You must be Coltese's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. We'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay. I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. I live! 
take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick on set, he said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick on set, he said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. Oh, no. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Chop your head off! Uh, who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me, I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse! You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for Shut up! Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you, too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. What's been puzzling me? What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? You hate Vance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that in school! Land fans, poor bastard! Where the hell are we headed anyway? Prawn Island! You ever borrow one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way though! Not so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, 
I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cote. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who gets things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? Jack! Plastic crap! You're doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Bro, you! It is my favorite El Budo movie. It died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap, but I know one day I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> Good shooting, my friend. You're a real proper grade A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Yo, Tommy, it's Lance. Yeah? Oh, nice to hear from you, Lance. Hey, come on, man, be cool, be cool. I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing, you and me, no problem. You know what I mean? We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead, Lance. We're in too far now. But thanks for the call. I'll speak to you later. Diaz was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... Go get some donuts, soldier! Sir, yes, sir! Convoy, halt! Civilian, move away from the tank! I'm gonna save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lugs. Word is, you might try to jump him. Didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah! Oh, 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 There goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you, too. Let's get out of here. Get patched up and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. I know people. Tell me. Tomás, it's Cortez. Look, the French are giving me all kinds of trouble, amigo. They're people. They spend a hundred years stealing from poor countries, and they call me a thief. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to need your help as soon as possible, amigo. So please hurry. Huh? Tommy, I need you, all right?
I got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? I've been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! <laughs> You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy. Because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. All right, Tommy, it's Paul. I've just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken offense to you acting like the big guy all of a sudden, giving it a big shot thing. Well, don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mugs game, son. Anyway, I heard this from twice this morning you're in, and someone's going to have a question to watch yourself. And remember me, mate. Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. And let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead. And they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. 
Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. That all you got? Protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. What? You've been making mean? mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you, you can lay it to me any time. Tommy, i done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the hey, back, hey, okay? Hey. Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy, but I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. You are in my way! You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so- I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but it What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now yeah, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but no one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Tommy, glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, uh, Willie's in a Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Leave it up, Jez, you remember. Lovefist. Don't be playing them games with me, Ginger. mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English prick. Like 
good See, one in America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys Talk need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have the old hands, your father. We need some drugs, pal. Gotta get on the old love <laughs> yeah, fest, yeah, nice beauty, one, yeah. you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice men, can? Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, it really mean a lot You can do boys. that for the boys, right? Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect return. See you later, big boy. How you doing, Mike? It's Paolo again. Look, Tommy, I forgot to mention, we're gonna need some extra muscle for the concert. A bit of security. There's a biker gang led by Mitch Baker. It would be great publicity. Very rock and roll, baby. Sort this out for me, and I'll get you some backstage passes for the gig, all right? Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Aye, I'm knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gang. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Like this cat. Knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes to Shut up, you that. fool. Just eh? get jazz bomb yes. sheet. It's a love rocket thing, can. <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, a love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. Yeah, yeah, the guy wants love fist dead. Dead, Tommy. Love fist gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save love We've fist. got a sign in, in two hours, and I think... Yeah, uh, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. Oh my God. I'll see love fist burn. Love fist ruined my life. Baker. I'm looking for Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Versetti. Versetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Ball said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Ball? Shh. No wonder he sent you. Last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Cougar, Zeppelin, go see how this girl handles a bike. you again. Hey, Rossetti, Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I gonna have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's gonna sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, yeah right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during Nam Ugly business. Which is why I'm going to ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. All right. All right. Hey there, Mitch. Well, if it ain't badass for city. Now I want to see how good you can fight for your patch. The local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyways, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, and you can tell Paul he's got his security. Come on. Come on, come on. Tommy, Tommy, man, that cycle's back. 
What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone. You did the killing, man, and now he's back. Yeah, 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 the thing is. The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats. Don't shell me, I need my mom. We're all breaking ourselves, man. Okay, guys, calm down, I'll handle this. Normally, I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals. But in your case, I'll make an exception. Alas, man, time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? Just a hundred yards to the road, then? Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused with my heat now, banging. Ah, look, what's this? Hey, Tommy, stick this tape on. Look, Fist, your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode, along with your big airy asses. Stick up, man. You know one? Hey, Tommy! 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 This stuff keeps you sharp, man. Woo! I could be your stick up, man. Stick him up! Stick him up! You ain't a stick up, man. You're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Keep pasta, amigo. The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What do you say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. He said he'd meet you outside. Someone normal for a change. You, Tommy? 
Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please, treat me bad. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive together. I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us, and he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank, we wave the gun around, and leave very rich men. Driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. This is a raid! Ah! Nobody move! Ah! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. Damn! It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find the manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. It's not a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. Light City SWAT. You are completely surrounded. Surrounded? <laughs> They're prepping themselves. Corrupt bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! Yeah, where's Hillary? I'll give him abandonment issues. Hey guys, hey, get in! I got you covered! We made it! We're rich! Rich! Out of our rich. way! Tommy, would you like a massage? Well, hi there, Mercedes. Yeah, I'm a little tense. What'd I tell you, Tommy? What'd I tell you? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Oh, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I'll go get some new friends. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the Ridge and Nam, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with, and I'm sure I I'm can help you out. Here? Tommy, 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 I had Sonny on the phone, okay? Are you with me? I don't know about you, but there's something about a man threatening to murder my family which really scares the crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Ken, take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice. Guess you're the new owner. What are you, mob, cartel? You don't look Mexican. Anywho, I guess you better get on with the things are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. 
Well, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh, crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now, here's this. We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management team. Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Out. Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. Okay, we got a high-class fare needs to pick it up from Starfish Island. Any takers? Tommy here, I'll take it. This is my fair. Back off, Ready? asshole. Five thirteen, we got a missed card test. As for you, especially. Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. Hmm, no sign of Mercedes. It's time for Kaufman's cab, Guardian Angel, to eat some fender. Hello? Hello? Put it out. There's a dude here. <clears throat> hey, suit dude, I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower and engine. And the fiberglass hull? She just shoots through the waves. She can do like zero to 60 in four seconds flat, oh, dude. And she can hold like 20 bales of the best Jamaican yeah, smoke yeah. right in the hull. So go ahead, dude. She's ready to fly. Yo, yo, uh, suit dude. You got a light? Dude. Dude. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art! Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, wow. Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure, but you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Can you believe this, asshole? Come on, let's go. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of if course. I could get backstage, as long I would as just cheap and sleazy. Uh, you're hired. Get in. Hey, Tommy, you coming in for a warm-up? Maybe later, babe. Whoa. <laughs> cool shark.
How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys gotta try, right? You get those flyers printed up? Yeah, but nobody's gonna let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. Well, After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge, phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then we... Don't give a crap about that! Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem on the phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy aspects of this nation's great entertainment industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, okay, you know Shrub. You guys get up to anything kinky? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Candy. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Got that. Was that part of the, uh, was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably mm. best following mm. her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. Mm. You got a camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get him a camera. Oh. Watching. How kinky. I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. Come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But Stevie. How's my star director? Oh, man. The struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping uh. action continues unabated. Mm. And before you ask, <laughs> yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their. Honey, can you please keep the Andacon in the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Mm. Well, mm. in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky mm. crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little mm. sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, Oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And mm. the press and the barrage of lights. What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. Oh. 
Okay, what's the emergency? Oh, oh dummy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think they were very oh, insistent. Uh, I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too. Tommy, it's Lance. We got big problems. Come down here right away. What's going on? Tommy, oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate, but as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! Why? No big hugs for your old buddy. I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty on family <laughs> etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out! The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. This is the last dance for Lance fans. I got the right wrong side, of that Lance. At school. You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys. He never understood a thing. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, wh what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. 
it. I know. Ain't it just beautiful? Thomas, Paolo. How are you? Right, mate. Anyway, thought I had to drop you a line. Oh, my good lord, my son. You will not believe the quality of the brass I just encountered. Streetwalk or something just down in Little Havana, mate. Said her name was Mercedes or something. Oh, my God, mate. You've got to check this bird out. Could strip the lead out of a pencil. Said I was the best you ever had and all. Keep your potato skin for I'll be seeing ya. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez, que pasa? Things are interesting. How are you, my friend? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay, what about her? Oh, Tommy, Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories. I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she could do what she likes. But Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Tommy, the shame. The shame, you know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please, tell me it isn't so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Colonel, I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new Minister of Interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. Tommy Facetti, how's it going, Mr. Big Shot? I hear all these things about you, some kind of player in town now, eh? Paul, you're drunk. No, you stupid player, I ain't drunk. I had a couple and some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know. Anyway, don't give me that, I ain't a mug. Who set you up in this town? Who? Oh, me, that's who. Really? Don't give me that, don't. I introduced you to people, I showed you the ropes. Did a lot of stuff for you, and this is how you repay me. You ignore me. You won't give me a way in, or after all I did for you. What do you think I am, a devil, Sonny? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy. Don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Mush. That's what I said in Bolstal. You ask him the trouble, son, because you're going to get it. <laughs> Tommy, mate, please. You must be big old, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, get some sleep, seriously. <laughs> 